What's happening everyone, Luke McGuire here and uh, welcome to this video. In about 12 hours from now, I'm flying out to the uh, United States, coming to Las Vegas uh, for a couple of days for Chris Records 3C event. And I know a lot of you are going, so I'm looking forward to meeting you there. But that's not what this video is about. This video is going to be um, a really cool little inside training here that I've decided to do because I need to stay up for another um, at least eight or nine hours because of the ridiculous time differences um, from here to the US. So I leave here at 11 a.m. I arrive uh, in the US at 6 a.m. on the same day. Technically, we're, well, you know what I mean, same day. So basically, I need to sleep during my normal daytime to wake up during the US's daytime, which is going to be a bit hard to do as I hate sleeping on planes. But anyway, it's worked out well for everyone here because this is going to be a fun video. So what I want to actually do here is take you through a really nice sales process of uh, going from A to Z. So what I mean by that is going from creating a social media audience and fan page, making it go viral, taking that content and then sending them directly from the, um, your actual fan pages and social networks to an actual sales page that is proven to work. And uh, what I mean by this is we're going to be looking at how to do Facebook ads that convert, how to make sales pages that work. And rather than just guessing and hoping things work, I'm going to show you how to easily market research this. Um, so when you post it and when you do your ads and when you have your sales page set up, you know it's going to convert because a big issue I see a lot of people doing is they're going to go ahead and they'll have everything set up. They'll have a sales page, but then they'll have lots of traffic coming to the sales page then it's not converting. Why isn't the traffic converting, people ask. It's going to be a disconnect between your advertisements or the initial content to what the actual sales page is all about. So we're going to be going through the mindsets of people are going on a journey here, but we're going to be doing this very, very easily, very, very simply, and we're going to take advantage of what other people are doing um, and see what's working for them. And from everything from sales pages that are converting to seeing what Facebook ads are, that are working for other people and that are not working to finding out what content is going viral in our niche and we can then post that content and allow it to go viral for us as well. Um, so we're going to do all that now and we're going to do it very, very quickly because it's a very simple process with the tools that I've made and some of my friends have made as well, which I'm going to show you right now. Uh, again, this can all be done manually. It just takes a lot more time. And we're going to start off here with uh, one of my softwares called Viral Autobots. So if you want to check this out, it's called viralautobots.com. It's $47, full refund policy and everything like that. But I know most of you have that here, have Viral Autobots in this group anyway. So um, that can, you can disregard that. But if you want it, go check it out. Uh, it's super cool software, as I'll show you right now. And this is going to be the starting point to making massive viral posts and then sending that viral traffic to our actual fan pages. So long story short, what Viral Autobots does is finds the most viral content in any niche, uh, in any market whatsoever. It then lets you uh, post it directly to your fan page from your account. So instead of actually um, sharing someone else's post and then and sharing the virality of their content for free, um, it's going to download the content, post it to your page as if it's coming for you, and it's going to repurpose it to your account, and then you're going to be able to have your account go viral from there. Um, so in saying that, I'll show you an example of that right now. So let's start off with tennis, and let's have the mindset we're going to send, sell some sort of tennis product. It could be tennis shoes, it could be a tennis racket, it could be an ebook on tennis and how to play tennis, um, something like that. So let's go here, and when I type tennis in, it's going to pull the most viral content here in the niche tennis. I'm then going to go ahead and look at tennis now and see what's trending here. It's going to go ahead and find the most viral photos in this case, um, but we could also search for videos, but right now we can look at this image here. Um, what happens when Roger Federer, Andy Murray, Nick Kyrgios, Nick Kyrgios is an Australian guy who uh, is a very young player, loses his temper a lot. But, and a bunch of other tennis players create a makeshift bowling alley and all they have is tennis balls. Um, that's a pretty cool thing to post. And you can see they've got a uh, link to a video here or a call to action to the video itself. We could even post a video if we wanted to through here. But um, let's just take this picture here because it's gone viral. It's got 4,000 likes from here. It's posted five days ago. I can either hit post in viral autobots and post directly to my fan page um, through the Facebook Graph API, which again, you don't need to know what it's about. It's all automated, you can do it from there. But I always like to download my content, see so a simple one-click download, download all this content easily, and it saves it. 
and then post it to my actual account from uh, my personal Facebook because um, I don't know if it's a mental thing, but they've done studies is when you post content directly yourself and schedule content directly yourself um, through the Facebook platform, you're gonna get a higher organic reach initially um, purely because you're using Facebook's interface rather than a third party app. So even if you use a tool like Hootsuite to schedule your posts and whatnot, because you're not on Facebook, Facebook takes away um, some benefit of that and lowers your organic reach. So I personally like to download and drag and drop, but in saying that, you can simply hit post and it's gonna uh, schedule your content and post it directly here. With this, we can edit this content and whatnot, but I'm not gonna go too far into detail there. So um, we can then go ahead and go back and find any other pages related to tennis, grab our account content instantly. Let's see if they've got any videos here. I can then simply download that and it'll download here. I can post it directly. And again, this is the content that you see constantly in your newsfeed on Facebook. You'll scroll through your Facebook, you'll see viral videos everywhere that are connected to a page that one of your friends has liked or commented on or shared. And now because of that, it's appeared in your newsfeed. So they're not paying for that to be in your newsfeed like the ads do. This is a free viral way to do so. And because we know here what's gone viral in the past, we can repurpose it to our Facebook fan pages for other people to then like, comment, and share. So our pages and our message associated with the content goes viral as well. So again, we can go through there, find out what's going on, on YouTube and stuff like that as well. You get the idea. But what I want to dive deeper into now, because I'm, you know, I know a lot of you do have viral autobots, is how do we go from having that viral content to then making sales, connecting it to a membership site, connecting it to a sales page. How do I know what's gonna convert, what ads work, what ads don't? Um, and what we can often do is either search what our competitors are doing, just like here and see where these links go to and whatnot. Um, we can go and find out what ads uh, people are running by looking at our market and clicking on actual websites and seeing what appears for us. And we can even go share more Let me about that, my art. Uh, stupid screen capturing stuff they cut out there. But it's probably a good time because I was going off on tangent trying to show you lots of manual ways to try to find your ads that are working in your market. But basically it comes down to it's very hard to see uh, what all your competitors are doing on multiple social networks and see how you can then find out what works, what doesn't, what's what's got getting the most interaction compared to each other. It's a very hard process to do which is why I want to show this really cool tool that came out today from my uh, good friend Austin and um, I know a lot of you guys know Austin and Anthony, a uh, massive online marketer, and this is a really super cool tool as well, uh, called SpyFi. And basically what it does, it goes out and spies on your competitors um, pretty much everything, so on multiple social networks. So this isn't uh, a poster, it doesn't post content, it doesn't find content that you can actually use um, to repurpose like Viral Autobots does, but this is a really cool tool to deeper research things outside of Facebook, um, for example, uh, advertisements on multiple networks. And again, that does relate to Facebook. You can check out what competitors are doing with Facebook ads, for example. Let's go Facebook ad tool here, Facebook ad search. I can go in and search ads that are going to specific sites on um, anything. And you can then break that down and see what has the most engagement, what has the most interaction and whatnot. I can go check out Facebook interests to see what the biggest interest groups are on Facebook. So I can type tennis, hit search, goes out and pulls the top um, audience groups. And you might not think of a lot of these things. So say if I typed in dogs, dogs, puppy, Snoopy, hot dog, Paris Hilton. Funny how that relates to a dog, but she has lots of dogs, so I guess that's a, that makes sense there in multiple ways. Um, but you guys get the idea, and this is a really good keyword research tool for when you want to create ads that actually you want to convert. Um, moving on from there, you can search your fan pages and whatnot, but I prefer to use uh, viral autobots to do this because it gives a lot more um, uh, details that I find that work, and you can instantly post and repurpose and share, whereas here you can't. So. Uh, you can leave that aside, but for Facebook ad research and whatnot, this is great. Trending, you can also see what's trending on Google, Twitter, and BuzzFeed. And this is real lifetime stats, stats sorry. So 51 minutes ago, an hour ago, we can constantly see what's trending on um, Twitter here. Um, so that gives us the option, okay, okay, this is trending right now. I'm going to go ahead and write a Facebook 
um, page and a Facebook advertisement that's going to go target one of these things. So how to be a single promo, don't know what that is about. Hottest 100, so in Australia, Hottest 100 is our radio show. Um, what I could then go and do is type, um, go target people who like the Hottest 100 here on Australia Day uh, and then promote them the uh, actual CD when this comes out later in the month and through an affiliate link and I can make profits with that because people go crazy for that. You know what I mean? I, didn't, I hadn't even thought about doing that until I've seen this right now. Um, and you get the idea. You can constantly see what's trending now. When things are trending right now, things go through the roof when it comes to sales for that product. Another good example is Star Wars. You should see the jump in Star Wars merchandise and figurines and every autographs and everything has gone through the roof since the new movie has come out and it will die down again and then it will come back up when the next movie comes out and this goes in trends and that's why it's good to see what's trending on Twitter. Again, BuzzFeed's included here which is a nice other way to see what trending articles are going viral. Um, so you can see what people are interested in, what people find funny, what people want to see uh, and again that ties nicely with viral autobots so you can go here and see um, if I, John Krancy, Kroniski, don't even know who that is, I don't know. But if I grabbed his name, put it in the viral autobots, because he's trending right now on BuzzFeed, I could then post content about him, which I know will go viral, and I can actually post it through viral autobots. Um, brainstorm, if I can go Pinterest, I could then type something in like tennis shirts. Let's see what, oh, maybe we'll type in tennis hats since we did tennis shirts before. I can then see what's trending with tennis hats and these are for sale pages that go to actual sales links. So um, this can give you a nice idea of products you might want to sell in a specific niche. And then I can see different designs and stuff like that. What if I typed in like dog shirts? I can see what dog shirts are going for sale, how many likes they've got on Pinterest, repin, stuff like that. Um, I work hard to find my dog. So I can take that shirt there. I can go over to teespring.com. I can create that exact shirt here for free. Again, if you haven't used Teespring, long story short, you just make the design on there with a drag and drop editor. You can, you can make, I can guarantee, that this shirt here would be made on Teespring. A lot of that one would have been, this one would have been, most of these would be on Teespring and you can see the pages they're connected to. And you can just drag and drop images with no code needed here and no money put out. And as soon as you make 10 sales, um, that, well basically long story short, Teespring tells you how much the shirt's gonna cost once you put the design on there. Say it's $6 a shirt, you then say you wanna sell it for $30. They then give you a sales page with this shirt. As soon as it hits 10 sales, um, or whatever you set the minimum sales to be, Teespring creates a shirt, sends a shirt out, um, does everything for you, and then they pay you the difference from what you set the shirt sales price to be um, versus how much the shirt costs. So you make the profit margin there and you don't have to do anything else. Pretty cool. Then I could go over here to say um, the top niches in viral autobots, find a dog niche here. And then I'm going to, I can then post dog content that's gone viral. This 17 year old dog, happy birthday. My dog actually just turned 10 a few days ago, which makes him 56 for his species. I always thought it was seven, um, or seven times or set 10 times whatever its age was or something like that. But um, sorry, seven times whatever his age was, but my dog's actually 56 in dog years apparently to be exact for his breed. But anyway, I could then post this picture here with a link to my t-shirt that I know is converting because I can see, well maybe not that one there, but one of these will look, it looks like it's got a lot more interaction. 420 um, for actual uh, likes here. I could post this shirt, I can make this shirt in seconds on Teespring. I can then uh, find the content, post a link to this shirt. I can then find out what ads are converting as well through the ad, Facebook ads tool here. Um, and I can also see what's trending on these other social networks as well. So I'm not going to go through them all because it's a very similar thing, but it pulls really cool content from all over the place. I can then even search on Teespring what um, content's going viral here on uh, this little t-shirts option here. 
e-commerce, I could then go on Shopify and view what my competitors are doing. So I could type in tennis here. Let's see what tennis products stores if it's, um, people have made on Shopify. Merchant of tennis. And again, you can see how many visits it gets, what its worldwide rank is. Uh, you can even go in here and see stats and whatnot, but you can see these are the ones that are doing the best and we'll see what they're actually selling. And again, if you haven't used Shopify before, um, I'll show you here in a new chart just what it is. It's probably a bit of information overload right now, but I'll go into a more depth case study of this this month. Um, sorry, uh, in the following month when I'm going to do a big Shopify free training for you guys to show you how you can create, set and forget and drag and drop these sites and complete autopilot. But this is a really cool site that lets you create storefronts that look exactly like this very simply and very easily. You don't need to have hosting. Um, there's a lot of benefits to using Shopify um, to make really clean sites that look like this without knowing, needing to know any code at all. So this is doing quite well. But say for example, let's see if there's any dog stores on Shopify as well since we were running with the dog uh, theme. Squeak of dogs. Dogs make me happy. Let's see what this is about. So they're selling products for all different species of dogs. So that's a really cool point to mention here. So say for example, when you're doing your Facebook advertising, um, it's very important to dive down into sub niches. So dogs is the main niche, for example. Then we can have all the breeds under there, like Roddies, Spaniels, Owls. Oh, I got it wrong again. I'm gonna leave that, don't know why I spelled that wrong. Um, German Shep, German Shepherds. Spot that wrong again. Um, you get the idea. So these are sub niches: pugs, French bulldogs. So, for example, someone who loves French bulldogs is probably going to not like Rottweilers so much. But someone who likes Rottweilers or pit bulls will probably not like small little French bulldogs or little pugs or something like that. So. When we're creating these advertisements, we want to be targeting people who actually like specific breeds of dog that relate to the shirt itself, if you know what I'm saying. So we can go to a fan page with our viral content here. Um, sorry, here. Uh, we know it's going to go viral. It's going to create a lot of traffic, a lot of movement, a lot of energy. We can chuck our link to our store and directly into the uh, update itself and push traffic to that link there saying if you love what wheel is you going to love? Um, you're going to love this T-shirt or something like that. Um, then, if we do, even if we don't want to use the viral content to direct them to the site, we just want to create the viral content to make our fan page go viral. We can then advertise to the audience we build in the dog lovers or the dog um, niche, and then uh, once we've got that audience base there, we can then segment that audience by targeting ads to the fans of our page. Um, and segment it around. So I'll show you how easy that is to do right now. I'll pause it here for a second. All right, so we're in one of my Facebook uh, advertising accounts. Um, I don't use my main profile anymore because that got banned from doing ads a couple of years ago, which is very frustrating and still don't know exactly why it did, but I know how to not get banned net these days. Uh, and I'll be showing you that a lot throughout these um, videos I'll be doing. So we're gonna create a campaign. Um, in this case, let's just go promote. Um, let's go promote page. We can even sit, let's just send people to the website. Let's say I have a site called www.doglovers.com. Don't even know if that exists. It's not my site, but for argument's sake, we're just going to leave that like that for now. Now we're into the ad sets, and this is where I, where I want to talk about interests. So uh, you'll come down here to detailed targeting. Um, I've done videos on the actual Facebook Ads Manager in the past and often um, Facebook changes its layout and they have done again recently. So what we're going to do is go here, you can select your country where you want to go. I can go Australia, New Zealand. And then you can see the audience size over here is 16 million people. Because we uh, might be right, we want to target people who like pugs and who like French Bulldogs. So let's type in here. Uh, who like dogs as a main niche. But then let's also say that they want to actually like dogs and also from pugs. 
So for example, let me get rid of this here. You'll see initially dogs, four million, so four, yeah, four million one hundred thousand people in Australia and New Zealand between the ages of eighteen to sixty-five like dogs. As soon as I put pugs in, that drops down to four thousand five hundred people. So that's not that many, and I'm sure a lot of the dog lovers do like pugs as well, but they're not enthusiasts of that. So when we're trying to go for direct sales, it's often a nice thing to test how it works when you go for a much narrower niche that like dogs and that like pugs. If I remove this though, and I come up here and I type in pugs, that's still gonna be a massive number here. It's gonna be the same number because they, they either like pugs or, or dogs. If I put in boating here in the same interest group, now it's even higher. So people who like pugs or that like dogs or that like boating, but say that there's no point having boating in there if they don't like dogs, if that's what I'm trying to target, people who like dogs and boating. So I'll get rid of um, pugs for a second and boating, and we'll add it into here, the next interest group, boating. So you can see that's taken it from 4,100,000 to 1,100,000 people. So these people like dogs, and like boating, so that's a big feature in uh, inside of the ads manager here that I wanted to push to you guys. So keep that in mind when you're doing ads that you can target people who like multiple interests and don't chuck them all in the one box, make sure you're adding more. Again, you can exclude people here. So let's type people who like pugs, who also like French bulldogs, Oh, Bulldogs then. So fewer than 100,000 people. Then let's say I'm selling a shirt, I can sell it worldwide. Let's have in the United States. And it's a lot of playing around to see what's going on. Um, maybe this is not, maybe people don't like these two animals together. Huh? So there's not that many people there for that. So let's take out Bulldogs. Let's type in, What's another small dog, a chihuahua? Now I spelled that completely wrong. Let me pause and get the right spelling. All right, guys, so um, got the spelling right, put the word pugs in, and then I, they also must like chihuahuas as well. That's taken up to 50,000 people who like both. If I take pugs out, let's see how many people it's got when it loads. 1,400,000 people. So say I wanted to target people who just like pugs and chihuahuas uh, and they create a shirt or a product or a dog product for these specific breeds of animals, I could do that. And then I can exclude people who like rotwheelers. So that takes it down to 34,000 people. So that's gonna be a really, um, a nice little uh, tool for you guys to come in here and use. And then I can create a shirt, for example, that says um, chihuahuas are better than rotwheelers or something like that. And that's not going to offend anyone because these people don't like rotwheelers, they like chihuahuas. So that's a nice little example there. And this can be used with anything. You can target people who like tennis and running rather than people who just like tennis because they like to watch it. So then if you know they run, they're active, um, you can push that as well. Um, and you can exclude people who like, so say I wanted to target people who only watched tennis but didn't play it. I could type in tennis here and then exclude the actual, um, the, the option of fitness. So you can target people who are couch potatoes, that don't do any fitness, that don't like health and fitness, and uh, just but do like tennis and they're most likely are gonna only watch it there. You guys get the idea and then you can go on to the following page and create your actual advertisement and whatnot. I'm not gonna do that here, I'll do that in another video for you guys so you can see there. But let's go back over here to SpyFi. Um, again, you can go see what how videos are ranking on YouTube and see what the top videos are. You can do some keyword research and stuff there. There is an SEO option, again, you guys know me, I don't do too much SEO, so I'm not gonna go ahead and jump into that there, but it's a nice option to see what's happening in the SEO world if any of you guys are interested in that there. Um, SpyFi, again, has come out today, uh, very brand new product, no one's using this, and it's an absolute powerhouse, as you can see here for market research. Tie that in with viral autobots, you can have your content here, you can gather the most viral content, you can then spy on your competitors, Facebook ads, what's trending, 
what your competitors' t-shirt campaigns are, what their stores look like, how, what, how many visitors they're getting uh, on multiple platforms, Amazon, eBay. You can see what is actually selling on these actual stores and actually then create your pages from doing that directly and actually create sales from the initial viral content to squeezing them through to either an offer or a sales page that actually works from an ad that we know works. So um, you guys get the idea there. Again, if you want Viral Autobots, it's at viralautobots.com. And if you want to pick up SpyFire, you would want to probably grab it this week because it is launch week. Austin always removes these products from the market after launch week because he only wants a, a select few people to jump on them. Uh, I've got a bonus page here for you guys. If you guys want to pick it up, um, you can go through here and you can see all the extra bonuses I've made him um, hand out to me uh, reluctantly because I know it gets to that point where everyone wants free bonuses and stuff and you can't give everyone free bonuses but I want to look after you guys. So if this is for you, you can go ahead here, then click the button down the bottom here. Um, again, this is connected to my affiliate link because uh, I've got these bonuses sorted for you guys and I'll be doing some further training here for you as well. Uh, I'm going to throw in a bonus video for some of my sales copy um, techniques of how I write sales copy uh, that converts like crazy so that would be a nice little bonus there but you can see how cool this tool is and if you want to go to SpyFi anyway and just buy it direct um, you can actually go and just do that because I push this product I'm, I'm, I recommend it look how powerful it is just seen there and you can see the connection between the two there as well um, looking now it actually hasn't even gone live so by the time you're posting this you're going to be seeing this before anyone else does so that's a very cool um, thing for you there. Um, so you can be the first one to jump in here when this launches and obviously day one pricing is gonna be the cheapest for you. But again, if you wanna do this research manually, you can simply go out and look on Twitter and type in the hashtags and see what's been working. Look on Facebook, look at your competitors manually. If I wanted to find um, tennis pages, I could go here and type in tennis. And then I could simply go through them and say, click on the link, go through, update by update and see what's working see what's not working um, these are all links i think to the actual pages it's a picture itself but you know it's really hard to compare when you come in here and then you can simply search for it it'll show you what the best content is not all of it well it will show you all of it but it'll show you all of it in the best of the worst it'll then let you down instantly post or download directly where it's here you need to open copy paste save videos you need to get third-party tools and whatnot um, but again, I don't want this to be about a sales pitch for you guys. I just want to show you a really neat little way that I've been um, using Viral Autobots and uh, SpyFi as well. And then if you tie that in with social autobots, having your accounts going out, um, engaging with audiences on autopilot, with Facebook groups on autopilot, you can even find this content here, post it to your fan page. And once you've posted content to your fan page, you can then share that content to any group you're a member of. So say, for example, this video here I posted today, um, I'll pause this. I can then go share, but let's say for example, I got a dog video and I posted it on my fan page. I can go share, click the share button. I can then share in a group. I can share this to Gold Coast, Master Nutrition, and Gold Coast, and like that, these are just groups I'm members of that I'm not admins of, but I can share this video and let that go viral in these niche market groups. I could type in tennis. I'll see if I'm a member of any tennis groups, which I'm not. Um, but social autobots, type in tennis, find a bunch of the most viral tennis groups, join them all on autopilot, go to viral autobots, grab your most viral content, post it to your fan page, not in the group directly, post it to your fan page, and then simply share the video and type in something like, let's go broad, Buy, swap, and sell. Let's type that for this group. Guys, if you love tennis, you will want to watch this. Question mark, exclamation mark, hit post. It's going to go ahead and share it into that group um, itself. And that's going to give traffic to your fan page as well. And because the content's gone viral, it will go viral again. We're going to jump into SpyFi and then. Um, use the actual uh, research of these different pages, competitors, ads, and then build a very solid funnel, which again is how we're gonna take people from point A to point Z. And if you wanna see me do this completely as well, I'm happy to do that. But again, I'm on the clock right now. Um, this video has gone for 22 minutes already. So if you wanna see that, I can go in and do that for sure, no problem at all. 
Uh, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll probably share it with uh, some of my other Facebook groups outside of the Social Autobots group in future. But I wanted to give you this opportunity now to jump in here and learn this and see how I do things right now. Um, as an inside way that I haven't seen anyone else do this stuff, give you the opportunity to get viral autobots here for again 47 bucks. Uh, and also be one of the first to pick up SpyFi. And again, I'll put the link below this video um, for that and uh, you'll get all those bonuses as well if you pick it up through my link. And again, I'm very transparent. It will be an affiliate link below, um, but you'll get all those bonuses if you wanna pick it up. It's not an expensive product. Um, but otherwise, go to the site directly and pick it up there because I'm completely transparent and I wouldn't um, put something out there to you guys if I didn't believe in it. So you can see anyway how cool this tool is. So I'll leave it at that. And I'll speak to you guys very soon, most likely when I'm on va in Vegas, and we're going to be doing some very cool videos with some of the top internet marketers in the world, like Chris Redcord, Mario Brown, Alex Becker, Alex Katz. We're all going to be there, and I'm going to be bringing that live to you guys, so hopefully you'll feel like you're there as well. All right, guys, signing out now. I'll speak to you guys again soon.